It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. So this video is just going to be a pretty much maintenance slash update video of my tanks. I don't really think I've done one since my um, first video and that was like six months ago. So uh, a lot's changed since then so I'll just run you through the tanks and uh, tidy them up a bit. Like, ugh, look at this bushy mess of Java moss here. Um, we're going to get that sorted out in this video, so stay tuned and uh, we'll crack on. The first tank we're going to tackle is my crystal black shrimp and red cherry shrimp tank. And as you can see there are three different mosses growing in here. Well, technically this one here is Pelia moss and it's not technically a moss, it's a liverwort. Uh, but that's another story. We've got some weeping moss and we've got some physidens here. So all I'm going to do really, is, this is a fairly simple tank to um, do some maintenance on. Oh, and we've got some duckweed at the top here. Silly duckweed. Uh, I'm just going to take the physidens out. Uh, I've not given up with it, but it's, I've got other plans for this tank really, so I'm going to take that out. Uh, and then I'm going to reposition the, these lot here, and I'm going to get rid of most of the duckweed. Now one of the reasons I actually want to get rid of the physidens is because it is infested with hair algae. And it's, it's the main cause of it in this tank, and I just kind of want to get rid of it and start afresh really. So with my trusty tweezers, let's get them out. I'll try and make sure there are no little shrimplets or anything left on it. So give it a little shake. Now we're going to try and remove most of the duckweed with my trusty net. I'm looking underneath as well because uh, some of the shrimp cling on to it underneath so I want to make sure I'm not scooping them up as I uh, move the net through the water. So I think that will do for now, at least uh, there's a break in the surface and now it's allowing light in for the plants to grow underneath. Now I'm just going to reposition the remaining plants to a desired location, which I have not yet thought of, but I shall make it up on the spot. There we go, that will do nicely for now. So on to the next tank, and this is my coal tank. So all the shrimp that aren't as good a grade as the others go in here, so they're not breeding with each other and producing more low and low grade shrimp. In here I have Java moss, and I think there's a little too many in here. So I'm gonna pull a load out and probably only leave about two in and trim them back. So there's still something for the shrimp to graze on, but it's just not as wild as it is. Oh gosh, they're all tangled together. This is going to be fun. So I'm just gonna cut a few squares off to put back in the tank, leaving a little bit left on them. There we go, that should be enough off any loose bits. And I think I'll get one more to put back in. Uh, this one seems to be tied down quite well. So cut about an inch left on it. Uh, should have been a hairdresser. Right so I'll just put them back in now. One there. Bloop. And one there. So we move on to my crystal red and blue dream tank and the plants we have in here is duckweed again because it gets everywhere and flame moss 
Now, there's way too much flame moss in here, so I'm going to be whipping a load out and probably leaving about four or five squares left of it in there, fairly central, so the shrimp still have somewhere to graze, but it's not overcrowded and it's easier to manage. I've got it down to six bunches now, so what I'm going to do is pull them out, trim them back down to about an inch or two, and then put them back in so they're nice and tidy. Just got to make sure there's no shrimp on it again. Oh my days, it looks so bare, but it looks tidy at the same time, so that's good, and I can see how many shrimp I've got. So that's that one done, on to the next one. Now this is my yellow cherry shrimp tank, and they've not done too well in here, so I'm kind of thinking about redoing this whole tank, like stripping it back bare, but not today. Uh, at the moment in there we have some moss balls, and uh, some wasatang, some wasatang, sorry, and flame moss. I already have flame moss in this tank, so what I'm going to do is just take this flame moss out completely, get rid of that, and leave this as a sub wasatang tank only, with some dwarf water lettuce floating on top, and again some blessed duckweed. Wah, 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 wah. So let's get on with that. So sadly, from what I can see and tell from this tank just having a rummage around, there is actually only one yellow cherry shrimp left in here. Um, so this is another reason as to why I think I might sort of redo this whole tank. So take out the substrate, put some different in. Um, I'm not sure what I might keep in there, but just try again really, because this is the only one left, bless his little soul. <laughs> So here's the bucket full of goodness that I managed to take out. So trimmings and unwanted pads of moss. Uh, I might feed some of this to Alan McCrayfish actually. I, I have fed him moss in the past and uh, it's a nice little treat for him. Right, so that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so in the process of actually sorting these tanks out, uh, I've had a little think to myself and I know I mentioned about redoing this tank down here. Uh, as there's only one shrimp left in it, so scrapping it, starting again and thinking of what else to put in there. But there's a couple of other tanks that I've got my thinking cap on and I might want to change around so add a few more plants in, maybe even scape them out a little bit so they look nice. Because at the moment, they're just breeding tanks and I want to get my creative side out really and do some aquascaping. So that's going to be in the future. I was going to say not too distant future but I'm not sure when I'm actually going to get around to doing that but I am looking forward to potentially scaping a couple of these tanks uh, so stay tuned for that so if you did like this video then whack that thumbs up if you've got any comments questions or queries about the tanks or what I should do maybe some suggestions then I'd love to hear your feedback below so get typing or if you're on a phone get thumbing I suppose uh, and if you haven't done already subscribe for more content coming out shortly uh, along with my 500 litre tank which I am setting up or it is now set up and I'm going to be adding fish soon and more shrimpy updates. So I'll see you in another video everyone. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep some shrimp, simply shrimps.